Hi folks, my name is Jacob Young and I am a second generation hat maker. My family has made hats in Oregon since 1978. Our presentation includes both traditional and innovative styles. Uh, we work in all natural fabrics, cotton or linen for the summertime, and then wool hats for the cold or rain. And the, the cotton hats, you know, they'll be nice and lightweight. If it's super hot out, you can just dunk it in dunk it in cold water and throw it on your head, it won't hurt the hat at all. The wool hats, um, they will wick moisture to a certain degree, but even if they get wet through, they'll still keep you warm. All of our hats have a cotton lining, so you would not have the wool against your skin on any of our hats. Um, and all the hats have cloth in the bill, so you can just roll it up to carry, it won't hurt the hat at all. Um, the hats are designed to be washable. Inside is the washing instructions, and here in the back is a elastic with safety pin to adjust the size. Um, there's another video that will go over those specific, those features in more specific detail. Um, for now, I'd like to share with you the Turing cap, which is what I'm wearing now. Um, this is based on a traditional old European style. You could call it the newsboy cap or the flat cap, um, the longshoreman's cap. They've been many, many names throughout history. Um, we make this style um, Based, uh, based on that, and we make it in four different cuts, which um, allows for different people to have different experiences with it, um, because people are subtly different, and um, you can and different hats look very different on different people. Um, so the cuts go medium, deep, full, extra full, and it has nothing to do with the size. It's like the pattern of the hat, how floppy it is. I'm wearing the extra full right now, and here we have four iconic mannequin head characters that are showing this, this style, the extra full cut Turing cap on different kinds of people. So over here, this is Pumpkin. Pumpkin is a big person. You see the, how the books are so wide? So that's the idea. Pumpkin's a big person and there's Pumpkin in a big hat. Over here, this is Slim. Slim, you see, is a narrower set of books, and um, the hat is all over the place. It's a lot, a lot of hat. Um, here, this is Fuzzy. Fuzzy's got a lot of hair. You can see it kind of balances out there. Again, though, it is our floppiest style, so it's, it's a very distinct look. Um, and then this is me as mannequin, and um, you can see it there, all set up. Um, now, the hats are soft, they're all cloth. You can take it and you can grab the bill and grab the back, pull it back and you get this whole other look, right? So let's do that with all these hats. There's Pumpkin. There's me. There's Fuzzy. And there's Slim. Um, so, you see how that is? It comes almost to my shoulders. It's just so much hat. Um, but you know, that works for some folks. Some folks really want that. Some people really want to be able to put their hair up inside it if they have a lot of hair. Um, it does different things. Um, so yeah, there it is, pumpkin there. And that's a cotton denim. This is a Pendleton wool. And then this is a corduroy. The big floppy hat brushed back like that works very well for someone with big hair. Um, yeah, so that's the floppiest of the four styles. So, medium, deep, full, extra full. Now we're going to go to the regular full. Now the regular full, that's my style. That's what I wear all the time. Um, it just works really well for me. Um, my size, I am what would be called a 23 and 3 quarters. There is also a spe in the sizing video, the special features video, it will show you the sizes of the hats. Um, so, yeah, I'm, my size, I'm, I'm, I'm just on the edge of extra large. I have a hard time finding cowboy hats or fedoras that fit me. But the full cut, you know, again, it doesn't have, it's not the size, it's the pattern. The full cut pattern works really well for me. I really like it. Um, and again, you know, they'll, those, as I've said in other videos, they settle in. Um, you know, when you first get a hat, it really has a lot of pop to it. But as you shape it and as you get into the hat, it, um, it, it starts to become your hat. It's like a new pair of boots. The fabric just needs to get used to being a hat. Um, so to get this look, this is what I do. 
my hand in there first and make like a puppet mouth. Get it all dialed. I hold that. You see how that process has brought the lining inside there? I want to pull that lining free. Then you have that available for the top of your head. You've got the pattern up on the outside all the way across the front. There it is. And then I grab it just about the width of my ears apart on the back, the bill is at the bottom, and I put it on. When I put it on, I just bring it right to the top of my ears because I want all that material on the top so I can mess with it and get it all dialed in the way I want it to be. So there's that. Let's get some hats on these mannequins. So this fabric, this is called Essek. It's a cotton linen blend. And uh, yeah, we have that in quite a few different colors. Um, it's a really nice fabric. It's a really nice drape to it. And um, just a good one overall. That there, that's a Pendleton wool. Um, this one now is another Pendleton wool. I got a little fuzzy, I got a, I got a, Got to get this right when I put it on. Okay. There's fuzzy. Looking sharp. You see how it's starting to come in? You still got a really floppy hat, but it's, uh, it's not so, so much. The extra full is quite extreme. There is slim. So here we got slim. We have slim and we have slim and pumpkin. You can see the difference. You can see with that narrower stature how how the hat works, right? And you have the big, you know, then you have that same floppy hat, but it looks smaller because of the size of the being. How big these books are. That's a big person, right? So, that's a good comparison there. We got fuzzy of course, and then there's me in the hat, right? So there you go. See, this is, this is a great fabric. See, it makes a star on the top. All the patterns come together. You like that. Um, oh, this is a Pendleton wool as well. Um, so then let's do the brush back. I grab the bill, grab the back at the same time and pull. Get that look. Now when you brush it back with the extra full and the regular full, it comes down over your ears pretty much. It comes down all the way over your ears if you like. And that's really great um, if you want to stay warm or if you're doing a project where you want to protect the sides of your head, it's very helpful that way. Um, and there's actually, there's actually old heritage connected to that. Um, the longshoremen would wear a hat similar to this and they would want to pr protect the sides of their head because they're carrying stuff off of boats. Um, so yeah, there's that. And there is pumpkin. Here is fuzzy. Here is slim. So first off, um, let's look at. I just want to bring out pumpkin and fuzzy here, and see, I mean pumpkin and slim, and see those two. And here is fuzzy. So you can see how that works with the big hair. It's pretty excellent, I think. Makes a nice look. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go into the deep cut. Now the deep of the four cuts medium, deep, full, extra full. The deep and the full are the most similar. Um, they're, they're both floppy across, if you're tucking it forward, they're both floppy across the front of the hat. Um, but the full cut is more round and the deep cut is more narrow. So um, we'll get that going and you'll see that, you'll see that distinction. Slim over here in, I want to try this one on. This is such a pretty hat. This is a Pendleton Ward. I'll give you the close up there. It's got really nice colors. That's slim in the deep cut. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the tuck forward for you. So here we go. Make like a puppet mouth. Bring it across the bill. Get that all dialed. I hold that. The lining's tucked in there. I pull that free. You have that for the top of your head. Get the shape across the front. You throw it on. You don't pull it down too low so you have all that material high up so you can shape it and get it all dialed in. Okay. All right.
right, fuzzy looking sharp. Good stuff. And then Slim. Slim's gonna rock the plaid today. Okay. So there they are. Um, this is another penalty. These are both Pendleton wools as well. And then this is a hemp blend. It's a it's a it's a rayon hemp blend. So it's super super soft and strong. It's just got this great kind of thing to it. Um, it's a unique fabric for us. Um, and then the one that I'm wearing that is a multi-panel. And the, these fabrics are Guatemalan fabric again. Um, so yeah, that's the deep cut. Um, as you can see, it's it's uh, as I was saying, it's floppy across the front of the bill, but then it's more narrow. So. The best um, comparison here is between these two with the big stature and the narrow stature and the difference between how that looks. Um, here's me, me the mannequin. That look. Here is Fuzzy. Now let's do the brush back. So here we go. Grab the bill and I grab the back at the same time and pull. So you can get your about your, you, you could get your ears about halfway in with this one if you want to tuck your ears inside. Um, there it is on me the mannequin. There it is your pumpkin. There it is your slim. And here it is fuzzy. I especially think the deep cut works well for someone like Fuzzy who is um, a smaller size but has big hair because it does all that volume and allows you to tuck your hair inside if you want but if they're a smaller size or a petite person it's it is a little bit less and so it's not just too 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 much hat. Um, so yeah there's the deep cut. And then yeah, it's 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 an interesting look because it it's subtle, but with the full cut, it's more around here when you do this. Here, let, let me show you that again. Um, see, it kind of gets a, a more of a round look. Yeah, yeah. Now we can compare that to the medium cut. Let's jump to the medium. The medium is just totally fitted. It just comes in pop like that. So yeah, let's jump into the medium cut now. Now the medium cut um, is our is is our probably our most popular style. style. Um, you know this style is you know in the four different cuts is so personal. It's so personal, and um, you know it can just be a match with the size of the person or the size of their hair. It can also be a match with style. Someone's looking for that old world look where they've got a um, they got a big floppy hat, you know, that's a hard hard kind of look to find, especially to find it where it doesn't have any kind of plastic structure in it because those kind of hats, you know, you just throw it on, it's one shape. But our hats being all cloth, you can shape them and get different effects. And so that is really appreciated by a lot of people. Oh. Let's see, I gotta do fuzzy, gotta, gotta get fuzzy looking good here. Is it's fuzzy in the medium cut, brushed forward, and there it is slim. Okay, myself I need to tuck. It's like a puppet mouth, all dialed in. I hold that, pull the lining free. Throw it on. Now, again, I am a, I am a I'm a borderline extra large, and that's all right. It works all right. But um, if I was bigger, if I was like, if I if I was more like pumpkin size, that could that could be it could just be sitting right on the top of my head. It may not work right. Um, you may want to get a bigger, floppier hat. Now, this look for pumpkin, that look that works great for pumpkin. That's that's super good. All right. If they want that fitted look, 
because um, it's coming down pretty low, you know? It's coming down pretty low and it's pretty secure. But that tuck forward for someone who's pumpkin size, you know, like 24 and a half, 25, something like that, that's, it may be a little bit too trim. You may want to get a fluffier hat um, that will come down a little bit lower on you. Um, on the other hand, for Slim over here, it's great, that tuck. That tuck works really well for a small size. Um, also, it works really well for someone with short hair. Um, for me, I like a floppier hat. I like a deep cut or a full cut. And um, just for my ratios, my big mustache, my poofy hair, I want, a, I want a little bit bigger hat. Okay, let's get the tuck again. And let's do the sis boom ba. Here's me. Here's me, the mannequin. That's the medium cut. Again, it's our most popular style of this this style. It matches with a lot of people. Other people, you know, they, they're all about the deep cut or the full cut or the extra full cut. But the medium cut, it's really grooves for some folks. Um, let's get the brush back going on now. Here's the brush back. Right, you can see that there with Slim and with, um, with Pumpkin. I think it works really well for Slim. I think that, that Slim, that's, that's, a, that's a good look. Um, it's a good amount. They, um, they, there is a, there's a subtle pattern, pattern difference in the size of the brim. The, the uh, medium cut has a smaller brim, brim and then the, the deep, full, extra full is a bit bigger of a brim. Um, there is Fuzzy. There's me. That is the Turing Cap. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, and we hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.